morning, everybody. Had a little bit of issue with YouTube, but we are back on now. Reminder that everything we're about to do is for entertainment and educational purposes only, <clears throat> but excited to join you guys again for uh, another live stream and hope that we can be helpful and just showing you guys how we use the system should be exciting as we get into some more volatility in markets. I see that you guys can hear me, so that's fantastic. Let me go ahead and close this bad boy. If you guys can just confirm that you can see my screen now. Excited to join you guys once again. <clears throat> we had a couple members. Mem ES is on your left side of your screen, NQ is in the center of your screen, and then US 30 is on the right side of your screen. Had a really, really good um, short opportunity on US 30, right side of your screen, uh, in this London session. Was fantastic. This was yesterday that we were navigating, if you guys remember. But really good short opportunities to get down. Two contracts were activated. There was a a small short right here that got activated right when the, the new trading session started and really big move that pushed upwards, but never closed above the box to invalidate the idea. But not a lot of traders actually trade this session, but nonetheless still did not stop it out. And this was the bigger move. And now we've come down here. And as we're about to have the news release in less than four minutes, we, I just want to make sure everybody knows this is what we said yesterday and what happened, just a reminder. So we do have a bullish confirmation candle close from a true algo box. So this is bullish and it already had a big move. I know it might look small on your guys' screen, but like there's the first uh, contract activation and that's 26 ticks right away. And so that is bullish confirmation candle close. And the only reason why I'm saying that's a big deal is because yesterday when we had the news event, um, we had a bearish confirmation candle close uh, from an asset, and then we had a bearish uh, result from PP, uh, CPI. And so now we're in PPI, and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> we do not have a bullish confirmation yet on the NQ. We just had a beautiful sell that activated almost three contracts, uh, depending on where you put your entrances using True Algo for our members. We had that first sell right here. Contract one was almost on the line. Contract two is supposed to be right where the line starts. Contract three is a 50% mark. Last contract's at the top. So really good sells on the NQ as well. Um, but there is no confirmation bullish candle off of our true algo box. So right now the NQ is still saying that it wants lower. So current members, just something to be aware of that the NQ still wants lower at the moment. <clears throat> and then the ES with a monster short of a huge win uh, at the beginning of the London session, really good price action too, because it pretty much hit it right towards the start of London and then just went straight down from True Algo. And now the ES has entered into our swing system once again, it just like it did yesterday. And then there was a bullish confirmation candle close, a little push up, and now we're activating some more contract ideas. And then just for our current members, just realize that the algorithm is telling us right now for this news release potential, if we do get a bearish move, <coughs> the daily system is lower than the swing system. So we could get a push way down here in this news event. And we do have a beacon and scalp target both down here to be cleared. If you guys remember, we were outlining these beacons uh, that helped guide us to price. We have another one right up there as well. So just trying to find the things that could be interesting for price action to come clear using the true algo methods. Just give me one second. One's way lower over here. Yeah, it just looks like the NQ wants to pop and get into our lower boxes. So that's what we'll be watching here in just a second. The PPI is never as aggressive as CPI. DXY is tapped the box, has not closed bearish yet. It did <clears throat> have that bullish move winning position back down again. Euro folks, you've also cleared targets, but you're still confirmed bearish and already had a winning trade. So lots of winning trades before this news has even released. But right now on the Euro, uh, 
you have no bullish confirmation candle close yet. So there's no reason to go long on the euro. If the euro runs up here, that's just part of the game. But <clears throat> that's what we'll see. News is just about to pop. If you guys have any questions, just let us know. Congrats, Ronnie. I, everyone, Ronnie's a brand new me uh, member, so nothing's better than getting on a plane and still being able to catch wins. <laughs> so congrats, bud. If you guys... Can hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to get better about asking that. I usually don't. I tend to just focus on Marcus's, uh, markets more. But here comes that news release, and then we'll navigate as we get going. Just a reminder, we do have two bullish confirmation candle closes. The NQ is the only one that hasn't closed yet bullish from a box. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> Sorry for all the throat clearing and stuff like that. That is pretty nifty, Jeff. You guys you got to send us a video. That'd be cool. It's like the longest 30 seconds ever. And there's a release. Uh, initial targets opened up bearish into the box. And there's that US 30. I'm telling you, man, US 30 is no joke for helping us with that bullish confirmation candle close. And then look at the markets. Just leading. <clears throat> and then the same thing with ES with that bullish confirmation candle close as well. The only one that we didn't get to play off was that NQ from an activation standpoint, but just an unbelievable long opportunity straight into the true algo boxes. Already had your long activated almost every single um, can or contract that we teach our members with our mitigation entrance strategy was activated. And then here comes that circle target to be hit. It's way higher on the US 30, by the way. What a good win, man. I just want to again point out that those of you guys are that are new to our system or if you think we're bluffing or anything like that, I mean, again, you can go back and watch the tape, but the NQ is the only one that didn't have a confirmation close from our true algo box. That's what I said. But as you guys can see over here, there is the bullish confirmation candle close that we already said. That's one contract, two contracts, and now three and four contracts with a monster of a win. And then now the NQ, even though it's about to get this target, I admitted that the NQ didn't have a play, even though it still did what it wants. And this is the mistake a lot of traders make. They try to force assets to do something. Even though this looks amazing, like on paper, this wasn't an, an option to take. The option to take for our members was the ES and the US 30. And then US 30, folks, you're now at daily open. That's your take profit. And then our next take profit is that beacon that's right up here that we'll be headed to. But ab man, absolutely fantastic. That's two days in a row, two monster news events, and both of them predicted. And I mean it too, guys, because like you got to think about like the NQ didn't predict anything with that. Like as far as like, I didn't say it would go up or down because there's no reason to go after the NQ because it didn't hit our box. I can see now that it did, but this is chasing. This was the higher probability success for our members. This is the higher probability success. Doing things like this will allow you to have right now a bunch of our members are telling us they're having 70 to 80 percent win rates we used to not talk about that because we don't want to be like other indicators that are just trying to sell people on hopes and dreams um a lot of you guys you ask us like what's your win rate with the indicator what's the indicator's win rate and no offense i think everyone should start asking yourself the win rate matters to the people who are members that are using the indicator. What is their win rates? And now we debuted this strategy for them and it's helping them be really, really successful. And yesterday we had a 100% win rate on the NQ um, for three days now. And now the NQ, there's that scalp target just got cleared. Watch this arrow. You'll see this is gonna change uh, to a, uh, a check mark in just a second from the algorithm. But this isn't a play that we took. It looks beautiful. The short idea worked per perfect, by the way. Like I was saying earlier, we had that confirmation candle closed uh, members, either there or there, multiple contracts activated from a short. You got to your full take profit that you could limit set that, by the way. You don't have to wait for it to touch. You can set the limit order for take profit. And then as it shoots up to clear our scalp target, you had multiple long opportunities on these two giant assets. And you can keep playing both ways in the markets always. <clears throat> DXY, you had a confirm. Just showing you guys. Watch. Look, talk me through it. You see this candle? There's DXY. 
that's hitting the true algo box. And as you can see here, it closed bearish from the box. What does that mean? You look for cells and then look what the candle does. I told you the Euro wouldn't be able to produce a play because we knew that candle was going to close bearish. So the Euro wasn't the one to go off of. We can try to check the pound, see if there was something. The pound, I, you're going to see in just a second. Watch, these are going to be bullish confirmation candle closes somewhere off of a box. Oh, what a sell up top too. Such a really good opportunity on the pound multiple times. If you guys see, there's that hit. There's the bearish confirmation candle close from the box. Huge sell win. And now the pound is shooting up. So you didn't have chances using our true algo to push upwards unless you're using DXY, but that's bad habits. If you're only using DXY, you want to make sure the asset matches. Gold, folks, you had your bullish long right here. Played out perfectly. Look at all these right here. Never closed below the box. And now that long position continues to run up. You had your short opportunity right there. That was a win. Oil folks, we're in a little bit of a boring land right now. All oil folks did is just push through, come down, hit one of our daily scalp targets, push back up, and then come down and hit the very next beacon right there. But right now, oil is still in a neutral zone. So oil doesn't have anything for us to play off of until it hits a box. Crypto folks, man, look at that scalp target, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. That's why I love this system, man. Down Even then on Tether here to help push it back the other way. You guys see that? Tether hitting an area to flip bullish. Ethereum and Bitcoin both hitting our bearish boxes, closing bearish, multiple wins, coming down, clearing the scalp target, pushing back up. And right now, live Ethereum is hitting straight into the box. And there's take profits instantaneously from the biggest players in the world. <clears throat> you guys see here now that scalp target on the NQ is now a check mark. So it is now cleared and it tells you both of them are cleared. Fantastic today. <clears throat> This is such a good opportunity because, again, like I was telling you guys yesterday, like retail traders are going to keep – they get upset that they miss these things, so they'll revenge trade it. So, like, they'll keep trying to short it thinking it's going to go down. And for us, when do we expect it to go down? It's just as soon as it hits this box and closes bearish. If not, all it's going to do here is consolidate and chop traders up. Our long idea was down here. That's how we use the system. That's how we teach you guys how to use the system. <clears throat> so absolutely fantastic. Same thing with US 30, guys. You guys have gotten very, very close to the target. It's right here, right side of your screen. That's where US 30, we're looking to head to that beacon. Beacon has over an 80% chance to be cleared. All right, what was the questions? I'm using the indicator, but the indicator didn't activate. I think, Salty, are you talking about the, the Heinz indicator? Make sure you check the box uh, for the day. Hopefully you're if you're still here. If any of you guys are using the Heinz indicator, you you need I'm typing it in chat for you guys. You need to click the settings and check the box for today's PPI event. It doesn't check it automatically for you. If that makes sense. US 30 folks, we're almost there, man. It's such a monster of a move. It's going to be probably almost 400 ticks in this one single candle. <coughs> One of the biggest biggest things I've been trying to teach our members, and members, you guys can call me out if I'm blowing smoke or lying to you guys because that's something we don't do here. But if I am, just call me a liar because <clears throat> I don't want to be what other people are. We don't, we're not that system where we tell people you can win $4,000 a day and then you can never match them. So call me out if I'm lying. The um, We're trying to show you guys ways that someone will tell you you can't play these news events. I told you we can't play the news event on the NQ. That's the center of your screen here. But this is a confirmation candle close right there using true algo. And look at the results. Just like I showed you yesterday. So two times, everyone else will tell you, do not play news events. Run away. Be scared of them. And now this is the second day in a row, the second news event. And it's predicted to the tick of where it's going to go. And if I'm lying, please tell me. Like, I want you to call me out. We do this every single day. We admit when there's losses. We admit when the system 
uh, doesn't go the way we want, and we admit something like the NQ, it doesn't matter how perfect the center of your screen looks from True Algo right here and pushes up bullish, we admit to our members that there was no activation to go long, only short, and that short played out perfectly. And that's why I told you the NQ wasn't a play for this note going into the PPI release. And now look at the PPI release and look at the ES and look at US 30. And by the way, guys, right side of your screen, look what happened. Look at the arrow, look at the circle. Do you guys understand how big this move is that's predicted from right here with that bullish confirmation candle close and three contract ideas activated current members? This move is bigger than most people will be able to obtain in a single week, if not a month, because they will have such a bad win rate. You guys can just keep calling me out if I'm lying, but it's not smoke, man. We don't blow smoke here. It's not hopes and dreams. We show an indicator that can predict the future. By the way, left side of your screen, we're still waiting for the ES to come over here and clear this little circle. That's where price is headed. I told you retail traders are going to try to short and fight it. We don't short till we hit the box and then close bearish. If not, we just let price run up. Price could be up here by the end of the day, guys. You have to have a bearish confirmation candle close, and we didn't. The bullish candle flipped us. Let retail traders continue to fight. Mm, excuse me, fight. And we will just continue to ride their shorts up higher. <clears throat> Absolutely glorious. That's fantastic, man. But yeah. Oh, Salty, you're saying you got a delay when it's activated. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, the, our team adds the free Heinz indicator as soon as they can. Make sure when you get the email, you still opt into the newsletter. If you don't do that, then they can't see it. And Salty, really quick, um, any of you guys, if you're new and you're using our free Heinz indicator, none of these are the free Heinz indicator, by the way, um, just force close trading view and open it back up and you might be, it might already be there. That's how trading view works. Whenever you get an indicator added, you have to force close it. You don't know if it's there or not. Thanks, Neem. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, Ike. So I have a rule here that we want to teach people, okay? As we watch and wait for this ES play to play out. And guys, if you think I'm lying, go check every news event. <clears throat> the stat is this. 90% of traders lose. Got it? 90% of traders are taught not to trade high impact news events. Does that make sense? That's in what we call Heinz, high impact news events. Does that make sense? So in theory, if you do the opposite of the 90%, you should win. In theory, right? And the answer is yes. If you do the opposite of what the 90% of people do, then you are flipping that stat in your favor. The only thing you need is an edge or a system that somebody coaches you the correct way to do the opposite of what the 90% does. The biggest mistake most traders make is they see the statistic that I'm showing you and they say they do what the 90% of traders do not do, but then they still do the same exact things. They switch their time frames up here. Up here, guys, look. They will switch this time frame. Every time their idea doesn't work, you're gonna watch them trade this, or sorry, change this. And they're gonna try to force their idea to work on a smaller time frame. And guess what? It works. What happens the next day? It doesn't work. What do you do? You change the time frame. So they're doing what 90% of traders do. Every single time their idea doesn't work, they change something, and now they say their idea did work. What is that? That's hindsight trading. We are foresight trading. We tell you what it's going to do before it does because we know the exact time when it closes on the opposite side of this box, we're now invalidated. We already have our plan in place. We're not doing anything else, and that's why it doesn't matter how much I say how beautiful this move is here on the NQ. Look at it. It's box to box. Absolutely beautiful but it wasn't a long position we took. And that's okay, because we had a confirmed long position already on the ES, SPX, SPY, you folks, and we already had the confirmed long position on the US 30. And by the way, both of which have gotten to a full take profit. Both of them, look, box to box. We're just wanting the ES to get to this actual scalp target up here. But listen, if you're not gonna take profit on your idea because of 
five or six ticks, you've got a problem. Okay? And guess what? We'll help you fix that problem because it doesn't matter how bad I want this little target circle you guys see on your screen to be hit. True algo, the boxes, have already been hit. They're telling us this is where you take profit if you're a good trader. That's what this box is telling us. And you're seeing it happen live. Look at the candle. Look at the wick. So remember those traders I told you down here that missed the move? So then they start shorting it because they're revenging it. And now we push up. What do you think those traders are going to do when we hit the box? They can't see the box. So what do those traders do now? They lost on their short. So what do they do? They start buying. And now look at every candle and look at the boxes. Look at the box doing its thing live. Again, look at this littler box that's right here, this white colored box, and look at the wick on US 30 now. It's almost halfway down the candle. This is the advantage you have at True Algo that you would never go long as you hit this box. That's what our members know. This is a take profit box on the shorts that were already activated. <clears throat> and then just so members know, look, the pound, we already got to that full take profit area on the longs if any of you guys were in it earlier, but we had the shorts that were confirmed. Now the longs look simultaneously. Look at DXY, smacking into the swing box, cannot close below it right now. The pound smacked into the day box, or sorry, the swing box up top, and now that's selling. So you guys get to see live how like we stop people, like our members have learned, and Jeff, if you're here, bud, you can call me out if I'm lying. I know you're new, but Jeff's been trading for almost two, de or over three decades now. I think call me out if I'm wrong. This is where a lot of people, if they're, seasoned veteran traders, they probably wouldn't start going long because they can't see our system. And instead, this stops you in your tracks. It stops you from making a bad decision, and all it does is tells you to wait. If you want to short right here on the pound, you can. You just have to wait for it to close bearish. You don't short it and, or go long at the top because you're trying to chase it because you're frustrated. Just we, Our system teaches you this, and one of the biggest things we teach you is just patience. Most people don't have the patience in markets. <clears throat> beautiful gold move so far overall for the day even like gold right here i mean this might seem really really small to you guys but sometimes the only thing you guys can do in markets is just predict what the very next candle can do and just showing you guys look from a live perspective look how detailed okay you see this candle right here that's a bearish candle you see how it does not close below the box Therefore, there's no shorts. Then look at the next candle. This is neutral. It's in the box. Now look at this candle. There is a bullish candle. Most traders would not go long here. The reason why we know that is because most traders lose. But that candle is the first bullish candle close from this box. And then look at the next candle. There's your new high. And you might think this move is tiny. It's not, man. There's people that are playing for $1 moves on gold. That's a $3 move on gold right there. And that's a win. And then we sell off, never close below the box here until right there. And then look at the massive sell into the take profit box. And there's the long close. Now you go long and look at the long win. It is a strategy that we show you. There is a full learning platform to teach you how to do it. <clears throat> Excuse me, as I'm clearing my throat. <clears throat> and then we coach you live five days a week to show you how to do it. And then on Sundays, we do a back testing session with our members. We let members pick an asset. <clears throat> we let them pick a day. And then we just start back testing our entrance strategies. Because we already know the boxes work. The question is, were you able to get in and out of positions? <clears throat> Please, what about the Euro USD? Current members, if you can help them out instead of just me. This is the euro right now. There's the euro. <clears throat> there is no play right now on the euro. You can't using true algo. The move is already played out. You've hit the box and now you've hit the next take profit box. The only thing you can do now right here is you have to wait for this candle to close. And as long as it closes above this candle right there, that would be a bullish long into this box. But for all of our current members, you guys know this. The one problem with this candle is you've already hit your take profit. So what does that mean? The euro is not something you want to play right now. I would look at something like the pound. I would look at something like the UCAD. I would look at something like um, the UJ. So let's check out the UCAD real quick, see if there's a short opportunity. 
Look right here, as we're waiting for the indicator to load, watch this. I'm curious if this was a box right here. This right there, wait for it to load, let's see what happens. And nope, we're still in a box. Look at that, straight to scalp target, Jesus, man. What a move on the UCAD, absolutely glorious. If the UCAD closes right here, members, we have that same opportunity again, where we're only gonna be looking <clears throat> lower for the UCAD, not looking for higher. So nothing to be playing on the Euro right now. You guys see how we opened? This is, again, why True Algo is so much better, guys. Look. Just, again, want to show you that we're not blowing smoke. New uh, Current members, talk me through, because I know people who are watching this aren't going to understand because they haven't been a part of our system. Look. You guys see this? You see how, from a live perspective, True Algo stops the price in its, in its tracks because the box is already here. Look at the sell. Now, what does a retail trader do now? They go short. Look at the candle. Look what the candle does. Are you guys noticing? Did this candle close bearish? Is it a red candle? No. What does that mean? True Algo is telling you price is going to go higher. It has to close bearish from this box. And now look at the next candle. Let retail traders, like I told you, continue to short. Let them continue to long the top of the box. And instead, if you waited for that close and that's where you activate the idea, it goes straight to take profit. Let them not use our confirmation candle closes. Why did we invert this fair value gap? We talked to you guys like if you're someone who uses smart money concepts and you're struggling to find consistency, one of the biggest issues you probably have with smart money concepts is what I said to you earlier. You keep changing this stuff up here. You change these time frames to try to lock in and find something that works and it doesn't because it's hindsight. You're always trying to make something that works, something that didn't work. Now you try to figure out why. Stop changing your time frame. Look, this is what I tell you guys in some of our social videos if you're smart money concepts. Look, you see the gap here? You see how there's nothing from true algo here, no boxes. What does that mean? Once you get down here to our box and confirm that green candle bullish and activate long contracts, now you're gonna come clear that gap. But the problem with the gap, there's nowhere here is there boxes. What does that, <clears throat> that mean? This is a, a fair value gap we're going to invert. And now that's exactly what happens live. So if you're someone who uses fair value gaps and for some reason you just can't pinpoint and make them work because sometimes they invert, sometimes they don't, this system will help you. And we consistently do it on the same time frame as well. Fantastic. Din is one of our mods, one of our longtime members. Um, he's posting the link in there for you guys uh, for Discord. And then if you're wanting to get access uh, to the indicator, and this is important, guys. You're not just getting the indicator. What I'm doing right now for you all on YouTube is what we do every single day uh, in Discord for our members only. Okay? So you get access to that as well. And some of you already know how to trade and you just need help with consistency and this system will help you, man. Thanks, Ronnie. We appreciate it, bud. I know you're just brand new <clears throat> and glad that the platform is working out for you fast. For those of you guys that weren't here yesterday and those, um, and those of you who were here yesterday and today, <clears throat> you'll notice that I don't keep flipping back and forth between gold and the Euro for the Forex market because we have to wait for the candle to close. The candle doesn't close for eight minutes. So I don't have to sit here and try to force these assets to do anything. What do we see? The Euro is hitting our take profit box and going down and up and consolidating and wrecking traders. We have to wait 30 minutes for this candle to close. Yes, we are going to force you if you come here to change your time frames, and you're gonna be consistent about them too. And what are you gonna start doing? Starting to create consistency and clarity in your trading. So the reason why I'm not gonna sit here and talk about Forex market for the next eight minutes is because until this candle closes in eight minutes, there's nothing to do. Gold, we're already long and strong. There is no reason to be short on gold. It has to close bearish. Now look, that candle would have to close all the way down here in the next seven minutes in order to close bearish. Is that gonna happen? Probably not. But if it does, then we have a massive short opportunity to get down here. But right now, there is no reason to short gold. 
oil, you are still in a neutral zone. There's nothing to do on oil right now. Crypto folks, this candle, this candle, that's setting up potential what you would want to be a short opportunity for Ethereum and Bitcoin. There's no shorts yet because it has to close bearish. And we can see that the bearish close is way down here where the scalp target is. So there's no reason to short crypto either. This is, allows you an opportunity to not have to stare at the markets all day. You can wait for the candle to close. You don't got to stare at it for every single second and force the markets to do what you want. And then what do you do? You lose every bit of profit that you have left. Index futures, folks, everyone using the ES, NQ, US 30, the Russell, <clears throat> um, if you're using any type of the, the Nikki um, or the German, like all of those ones, guys, every single one of those, you can use a 15 minute time frame. You don't use a 30 minute, but you don't use anything smaller than that. And by the way, I know it's as tiny as can be, but I just want to show you all those retail traders that shorted our system when you're not supposed to until it closes bearish. We put in a, there it is. Here it comes. That new high has been put in on the next candle so far on the ES. I told you it wants to get to this target right here. And after that, markets will decide if they want to sell off. We don't short or look for reasons too short from a demo and paper trade purpose only until it closes bearish from this box. And we can already see current members. Look, right there is where the short is. There's no short up here. Let retail traders keep feeding our take profits. It's okay. Don't make the mistakes that they do. Don't sit here and FOMO and chase candles. You simply wait for them to close and look what the benefit is. You don't get trapped. <clears throat> and if you guys are looking like in the, the left side of your screen, that is the ES down here at the very bottom. Middle of your screen are your NQ folks. We're starting to break above the box now, NQ folks. US 30, you guys are on the right side of your screen. These are all the futures charts, by the way. <clears throat> Just waiting for this target to be cleared. We have another candle close here in three and a half minutes. Then we can start making some plans for uh, the Forex market, the oil, um, commodities market, crypto market. <clears throat> we'll have another candle close for those, but there's no reason to look at them right now because they're not going to close to offer a position to reverse yet. We know that already with true algo. That's the advantage. So all I'm doing right now live is trying to show you, we called this target 30 minutes ago before this long idea produced. And that's the take profit final line <laughs> and just seeing if the ES can stop teasing us so we can get up there. It's almost there, man. And like I said before, if we don't get it, we don't get it. Okay. Uh, even this little move right here, man. I mean, you've got it's 46 ticks just from that candle alone. And one of our current me our members was asking yesterday, like, what if um, you want to keep adding in contracts versus always taking away? Like, as long as that bullish close holds, and remember what I told you guys, if you don't hit that 50% mark, then that's somewhere you can look to ride. But the biggest move was confirmed from true algo down here. There's no buy or sell signal because our members are taught just based off of the close. Because you guys got to think about it. If I turn on like any type of other indicator that has some type of, they're all delayed, right? Like they're all going to have a buy signal like up there. They didn't get a buy signal here. And worse, they'll repaint and they'll make it seem like they put a buy signal here when you, you back test it. And that's a lie. You know what I mean? Like they go long up here. Our system went long on that first green candle. Then there was a red candle. And we activated more contracts, and then you rode this up. That's the advantage of our system. And remember, what they'll, do, what you'll do when you backtest those their their systems to try to make this candle work the way you want, you'll switch your time frame, right? You're like, oh, if I would have just traded on the three minute time frame, I could have went long right there, right here where this arrow is, and then beautiful would have would have got a great move. The problem is, you probably would have done the same thing right here on a three minute candle. You would go long right here, and then look what the markets do to you. They destroy you. And again, the advantage of our system is we keep you time frame consistent. That close is just to be about in a minute and a half. <clears throat> Any other questions that you guys got? Just waiting for this candle to close. Get all this extra drawing stuff out of the way. 
current members, are you guys starting to see how amazing this mitigation entrance strategy is for risk? About getting these extra contracts activated so that you can ride bigger moves with lower stress because you know where the invalidation point is. You're going to have times where you lose. You know what I mean? Like, what if this didn't go up high enough for you? You know what I mean? And what if that, if you entered in that first little baby chart right there, that happens. But you stick to your rules, and then this happens. Not on the NQ, but on the ES and US 30. Just stick to your rules, man. David, I'll check gold as soon as uh, this candle closes here in a second. There's Because there's nothing, there's no move yet for gold. Using true algo. You might have a move on the system you use, but we already know there's no move just yet. I just have to wait for this candle to close and then I'll check it for you. So if I ever seem like I'm going quiet, just because I'm, I'm patient. I'm just waiting for the markets to close. Or not markets, sorry. The candle to close. That's awesome, Joe. John, I'm happy for you, bud. Yeah, man, we don't blow smoke here. This is what we do every single day. I know most places, you guys, if there's a candle close. So look, real quick. Sorry, I'll, I'll talk about it later, John. <laughs> so look, we are still bullish confirmation. If anything, you are now, ask our current members, they'll tell you they're neutral on the US or the NQ, center your screen, because you're closed in the box. But you guys all know this. Don't ask me to come back over here. We now know for the next 15 minutes, there is no sell opportunity on these three assets. It has to close bearish. Do you see how there's no bearish close? Don't ask me to go short. The only thing you can do is go long or be neutral. And watch how when I move to gold here in a second, we're going to come back and then watch the ES clear this target. That's the only reason why I don't want to leave because I want to see my target hit. Uh, I'm going to uh, watch. Everyone watch the circle. <laughs> I want to click to see gold, but uh, it's going to hit the target. Watch. All right, I'll be back. Ready? Real quick. Gold. You are now neutral. You've closed in the box. There is no short. There is no long. It has to close above this box to continue to go long right here. It has not. And now you've closed in the box. It has to close bearish in order to offer a short opportunity. If this candle goes into this box and closes, there's still no short because you're still in a box. It has to close below here to have a short or close above to have a long. Oil folks, you guys did tap the box now. You filled this entire gap as well. Okay, so this isn't probably an opportunity where oil is going to start to push up. I would imagine oil is going to do something like this. Current members do this, close bullish, activate more contracts, and then do something like that. Probably come right there. That's what I'm expecting. I'm trying to predict the future. That's going to be oil. That's what I'm predicting. Forex market, DXY still holding the box. Euro folks, there's still no short opportunity. I'm not going to chase this. I understand it hit the true algo box. We've got change of character, market structure. That's fantastic, but it hasn't closed confirmation. So what I could expect is maybe something like this, push down. There's your first short, push up, activate maybe another contract as we get up here, and then simply rotate downwards like that. That's something I would look for. If it goes straight down now, I just it's not a play that I take. Back over to indexes. We still are neutral in the box. ES folks, we are still at the box. US 30, you are still in the box. US 30 is on the right side of your screen. Yeah, Neem, for all of you guys, like, if you guys look at what Neem's saying, that he has a friend, I think it's Hassan, who's in our group. And Hassan, by the way, is like a lot of you here. They, This person... We used to be on all of our YouTube live streams, always asking us to jump on live, but never joined our group and just kept seeing us do this week after week after week <clears throat> and then finally decided to, to join <laughs> and then immediately joined. And I think they've passed like six or seven funding challenge accounts since they've been here and they can correct me if I'm wrong. And again, it's about your guys' success, not ours. Like we don't blow smoke. What you're seeing right now is what we do. We teach these strategies. We teach you how to do, to, uh, adjust this in your market, adjust, and then how to find entrance possibilities through the, our system. The problem that most retail traders make is even when this candle turns red, they start shorting. But our members know, and from what I'm teaching you guys, we don't short until we bearishly close from the box, not just have a candle that forms bearish. That's what your guys' mistake is. You start to change this time frame because you're impatient. 
So we will teach you how to be patient. And so when you have patience and when you start to adjust the way you view markets and you view it the way we do, the stress gets lowered because you don't chase candles anymore. You don't sit here and chase this candle turning red. Retail traders will. And this is the thing. Watch what my mem the, our members say. Guys, if this candle is red and comes all the way down to daily open and you go short and you win, what are you teaching yourself? And for all of you guys that are not current members, you would be so excited because you just had a huge winning short position. But watch what our members type. If they go short right now and this candle comes down here to daily open and they win that position, they are teaching themselves an extremely bad habit that if they do that every single time, they're going to win. So then they start holding their position longer. And when they hold that position longer, you guys ever have that where you have a really good win? You feel really confident, and then the next day or days, you take the same type of position, and then the markets just continue to go the opposite direction, but you have conviction. You know that position's going to go the way you want because you won, and then it takes everything from you that you won and then destroys your account. You guys see how that candle, just from talking to you guys just now for the past 30 seconds, that candle went from being red to retesting the bottom of our box, and now it's green. That's what you don't experience in markets when you backtest or when you buy someone else's system. With True Algo, look at the candle now. You guys see how much things change in 30 seconds? That's why we don't change our time frame. This candle has to close bearish under this box. Then markets will sell. Just like when we closed bullish from this box, markets went absolutely nuts upwards. That's the advantage you have in the system because you know when to be activated. You don't gotta wait for some RSI to go overbought or oversold. You don't have to wait for MACD to overcross. You don't have to wait for someone's delayed buy sell signal that's gonna keep going away during this same candle. You guys know that, right? If I turn on another indicator that has a buy sell it option, the candle right now that's being produced on this 15 minute time frame will go long, then it will disappear. Then it will go long, then it will disappear. And that's how you get wrecked. And that's not how our system works. We are for people who are ready to take markets seriously. I mean that, man. And for all of you guys, like right now on our website, on our website, if you want to join our specials, like our discounts are available at the top of the website, labeled specials. <clears throat> we are not cheap like other indicators because we're not the same system. By the way, you're about to put in a new high on that current candle. The NQ just put in a new high. US 30, not yet, but almost. See what I mean about letting, you don't chase candles, man. True Algo makes this so easy. All of you guys, if you want me to check gold and, and um, the euro, nothing has changed because the candle hasn't closed yet. You guys see that? Nothing has changed. There is no reason to be bearish on the indexes. And this candle, we do these on 15 minutes. And look, that is three straight wins. This is how you move through markets, or you should be. It's not the way other people tr uh, treat them. Everybody wants things to be easy, man. We are here. When you guys are ready to take markets serious, we are here to help you. There's the new high, and there's my target, finally. Hold on. It's one more tick. <laughs> it's one more tick. Come on. Oh, the markets just keep teasing, man. Right there. Just want to get it live on the stream. Oh, it's so frustrating. Oh. If you guys haven't yet, if you just get an opportunity to hit that like button, we'd appreciate it. <clears throat> there it is. Boom. There you go, folks. Rewind the tape. Go watch yesterday's live stream for free on YouTube during CPI, the most volatile event in markets besides FOMC. Here's PPI. Here's called live. And like I showed you from the very opening of the stream, there's the true. There it is right there. You can see the check mark. That's how true algo rolls. I told you every single retail trader is going to keep trying to short to revenge this. There is no short opportunity until the candles close bearish from the true algo system. And boom. The win is a monster. This is more, and you guys know this from looking at your own trades and your own win rates and your own losses. This move right here is bigger than most people will win in a week because the next, the second day after they get a win like this by luck, they'll lose everything. 
Take the wins we gave you guys yesterday and today and add them up. I bet you it's more than you make in a month. I mean it. I know how some of you guys degen and, and gamble in your trading. Just take the two wins back to back. And it's a bigger win probably than most of you get in a month because of your inconsistencies. And we're here to help you, man. I mean it. US 30 also put in a new high. US 30, folks, you've got that big bullish scalp target above for us. What a win, man. DXY, no reason to be bullish. It has to close bullish from the box. <clears throat> Notice that. Oops, sorry. I'm like deleting stuff. Look at the pound. Trying to play futures trader, but it doesn't matter. It's all about closes. Look. Look at the close. Look at this gigantic candle, man. It's so big. And this is why we tell you we don't chase stuff at True Algo. The close is in the box. I told you it has to close bearish. I was trying to predict if it would close here, bounce up, and then short. But look. There's no bearish close yet. Look at gold. Think about it. Indexes are going up right now, right? DXY is going down. A lot of you would probably short, or sorry, would go long on gold. Look at gold. Just stopping in its tracks. Just fantastic, man. Crypto folks, remember what I told you? There is no reason to go short because we know that that candle, just replay what I said to you guys. That candle has to close bearish down there. We know that's not possible. The next candle, this one could close bearish, and that will activate short ideas. But we knew this very next candle, the next 30 minutes, there's no shorting on crypto. And look at it. Look how the next candle's green. It's beautiful, man. Low stress. Look at the indexes. Just going for it, baby. No reason to go short. Told you. All right, folks. That's all I have. I'm getting off now. I appreciate you guys. Current members, I'll get you guys. I'm going to go jump on Discord with you guys for a little bit. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I am now going over to Discord for members only live stream. <clears throat> and this reminder, if any of you guys hit that like button, if you're not over in our Discord yet, please join us. Okay? We are not going to be live in Discord for you. It's just for members only to try to help them answer their questions, make sure they're able to use the system as effectively as possible. Apparently, I can't type. That is not a surprise. That dang like button won't get out of my way. Remove. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm trying to type, and I am losing the typing war. True algo. Cool, man. But that, those that you hanged out, like, I hope this helps you, man. Even if it's just to teach you, like, let's say you guys never join our system. I get it. Not everyone's going to join. Probably most of you won't join. It's fine. I hope the one thing you do learn is you start sticking to your time frames and stop switching them. I hope that does help you. All right, folks. I'm going to go over to Discord. Current members, I'll catch you guys over there. Everybody else, have a fantastic day. If you guys want to join us, we do have a couple of specials that are running now. They do go away. It's on our website at truealgo.com. The specials are located at the very top. Reminder that you don't just get the indicator, you get our live streams. And just think about it. I'm pretty sure most of you, this one win would have more than paid for almost a year with the, the company, if you think about it. All right, guys, I appreciate you. Have a fantastic day. Members, I'll catch you guys on Discord.